And hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, the Jonas and Share TV. Happy Saturday morning. It's a beautiful weekend. Um, I literally just woke up, so pasensya na sa aking uh, just woke up look. But my kli lang to, sobrang bilis lang, and I hope I'd be able to compress this message in a short video. Um, I just want to talk about success in the millennial age. Why does people think that it's very difficult to be successful sa panahon ng mga millennials, di ba? One of the biggest factors is yung social media. Well, I personally believe that social media is a beautiful platform. Um, it's designed for people to connect towards each other easily. Especially yung mga malalayo talaga and people who don't often see each other. Um, until it became a platform for most of the users to create a facade or image of how their life really is or how their life looks like in a very superficial manner to gain likes or gain approval from people or impress other people. Uh, the thing here is that what we only see in social media are the beautiful chapters of people's lives. Sobrang konti lang ng mga taong magpo-post talaga ng mga pangit na nangyayari sa buhay nila online. It's, a, it's like a museum of artwork wherein people post the most beautiful chapters of their lives. But not knowing, there are also a lot of skeletons hidden in the closets that aren't being posted online. So that's one. And right now, in the digital age, we're in, um, it's easy to see what, what's happening to other people's lives by just the tap of a finger. We tend to forget our own dreams, diba? Meron naman tayong mga sariling goals. It's just that we try to um, shy away from it because of too much attention we put in social media. We're in, nagiging basis na natin ng success yung mga nararating ng ibang tao. Well, I can personally speak about it because um, it was also my struggle over the past couple of months. I've been seeing my friends and my relatives um, traveling to other countries, buying things for themselves, or you know, doing things that I haven't been able to do yet. It made me think na, am I not working hard enough? Or am I not exerting too much effort um, para ma-achieve ko yung mga bagay na din na But I think uh, that he reminded me that it's not the true measurement of success. Alam ko na meron tayong mga sariling pangarap. It's just that we tend to shy away from it because we put too much focus on social media and what we see online. To the point na akala natin, ang tamang measurement ng success ay kung ano yung mga na-achieve ng ibang tao. There are a lot of ways for us to avoid um, to think like that. Um, number one is you really have to know what your goals are and write it down. I, I like writing down things. So write down your goals and make it as clear as possible. Second is you have to work hard for it. Like when I say work hard, literally kung kailangan mo magpuyat or mapagod physically, mentally, emotionally, just for you to step by step achieve that goal, you really have to do it. And third would be, present it to God. I mean, faith it till you make it, sabi nga nila. Many are the plans of man, but it's still the Lord's plans that prevail. So, uh, make sure na yung plano na sineset mo is, you know, something glorifying sa pangalan ng Diyos so that He'd be able to help you. He will help you because He's able to help you. So that He will help you achieve it. So I guess the bottom line message of this video is that you do not compare yourself to others. Never ever compare your chapter 1 to others chapter 20. We are all uniquely designed, fearfully and wonderfully made by God. We have our own set of talents, of gifts, of time and season. Your own success shouldn't be measured based on what others achieved. Go back to your goals. Yung sinabi ko kanina na isulat yung mga goals niyo. Do not forget to go back to your notes and see kung anin na dun yung mga na-achieve niyo because once you slowly put check, check marks on the goals that you set, you can tell by yourself that you are already successful. So that's it. Thanks for watching and happy weekend again.